Hello gang, now it's time for more exciting episodes of Dan tries to actually get the right guys to attack him. <laughs> Let's go! I'm uh, not joking, we need to keep doing this until we become evil. Uh, right, okay, so... Cast all the things. Alright, alright, so, uh, oh, uh. How did we do this last time? Sorry, it's, it's been a few days. Now, we don't, definitely don't want to go up to the top floors, mostly because the, um, the creatures are too dangerous. Um, we don't want that. Uh, what we want. Uh, Alright, hang on. We need an encounter next to a door. No? Alright. Come on, give me one. Ah, okay, we got one. Excellent. All right, so um, you surprise the monsters. Run away! <laughs> I'm really sorry about this, guys, but I have to do this. Like, I appreciate that this isn't particularly fun to watch, but, um, yeah, there's a reason I took a small break from this, because this gets really boring. I'm not gonna lie, like, I, I, I enjoy playing this game quite a lot, but, like, let's be real here, this is, this is ridiculous, this is really stupid. Let's just keep doing this until we actually get a friendly. Oh, I'm gonna open up this can of rocks down while we wait. Ah. The problem is we did actually let go a lot of friendly monsters back when we were actually trying to be good, so this could take a while. <laughs> okay, one of them swings so we can actually run. The reason why you want to do this with low level monsters, because high level monsters, if they get the jump on you, they can really hurt you. And even potentially drain levels, which we don't want. Like, we would potentially get more experience, but to be honest, we don't need the experience right now. We need to be able to actually continue playing the game. Um. In actuality, our characters are kind of over leveled right now because um, the um, the next floor we're going on to will be the equivalent of um, floor two for, or floor one for good guys, which means that we'll basically curb stomp most of the evil creatures in that or the good creatures in that evil dungeon anyway. Um, it's only when we actually get to um, evil floor two where um, stuff will actually start to become um, a problem again. So far this has been about three minutes of me doing this. 
I am really sorry about this. <laughs> Yeah, what else have I been doing lately? Not much, really. I've been... Like, I've not been able to let's play all that much. I've been um, playing a little bit of Swap 4. Uh, you probably would have seen the results of that by now. Because, um, I, unfortunately, I've not had much time to actually record anything this week. But I did have enough time to actually record some Swap. Because I was at, that was going to be the, the next let's play um, after this, like, I was gonna give, um, Binding of Isaac a little bit of a rest. Um, because I figured you guys don't want to see some guy who's really terrible at playing Binding of Isaac playing Binding of Isaac. Um, <laughs> like, I actually want to get a little bit more practicing on that game before, like, recontinuing that let's play, let's just say, but... Aha! We finally got one! Alright, we'll fight these guys. Cool. Ah, actually, you know what? Sod it, let's leave it. You don't need the chest. Oh, this is a repeatable encounter. Oh, I am so happy. Okay, um... Oh, actually, maybe it's not. Crap. Damn it. Does him just have... Quite a high encounter rate, though. I'm not interested in fights other than, um... Fights that we can actually, um repeatably encounter because this is no point. Like we we we're doing this for a very specific reason. And that reason is to turn evil. Like this is the path to the dark side guys. The left hand path so to speak. Um, <laughs> this left hand pack involves avoiding anyone that might actually be a threat to us and picking a fight on our friends. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, my copy of um, Pokemon Conquest finally arrived today, which is good. So I'll be able to actually. Um, what did I do with my PC at some point? Which is nice. Um, other than that, um, yeah, what else? Yeah, nothing much. I've not been playing much in the way of board games lately. Aha, we got a, um, hey, we got a dude, we got a man. Let's fight your fights. Okay, um. Alright, so we killed a whole bunch of them. Leave it. Ah, oh, it's still good. You don't need the treasures or the items on the treasure box here. The items are so bad. Ooh, this might be a repeatable encounter. I'm hoping it is. It is. Alright, cool. Ah, you surprised monsters. Run away. Guess what I'm going to be doing? Hitting B a whole bunch while drinking some energy drink. It's fine. Hmm. I might actually just keep this video running until uh, until we actually turn evil. That might actually be what we need to do.
because apparently it's a very random chance if they actually turn evil or not, so... Apparently Samurai's are uh, pretty hard to turn evil, so... Not sure if that's a stat thing or is it just like... Um... Anti- uh, like, you know... I don't know what I'm actually trying to say here, but uh... <laughs> I'm not sure if it's that, if that's, uh, if Samurais are harder to transform into evil is actually an actual hard-coded thing, or if it's just like superstition or whatever, but... I guess at that point they would be known as Ronins, right? These are Samurais without honor? Or Samurais without a master, sorry? Speaking of Ronin's, uh, Disgaea 2 got released on the PC. Uh, I've not actually had a chance to play it yet, but I hear the actual port is actually good this time, so that's good. Oh, come on, game! At the time we're recording this, I am actually uploading all five episodes of um, I currently recorded a swap for onto uh, onto YouTube. I'll be releasing them daily, so I don't bum rush your um, your inboxes with stuff. So. That jingle is gonna buried into your mind, like you open the cover to get some food out of the cover and just an encounter music plays. Ah. Oh, apparently the electrician is now gone, so that's good. And I can now actually use my goddamn shower. So that's good. Um. Uh, what else? I, I can't make this interesting. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's just like nothing I can actually do. Oh yeah, I've also been playing a new free-to-play game called Line of Sight, which is actually um, I actually really like how the game plays. The actual business model seems relatively fair for it as well. Um, it does require a lot of grinding to get a weapon though, but... Also, I'm not particularly a fan of them um, level-gating stuff like they do in Call of Duty, but... Because they... Because uh, to get the actual... Um, to actually um, get enough money to actually uh, buy a weapon, it, it costs quite a lot. But yeah, I actually picked up just like the beginner's pack, because eh. I don't mind dropping money on free to play games if I actually really enjoy playing them. It was like, it worked up to like 11 quid or something. This is how much I basically paid for Counter Strike, so. Aha! We got one! Excellent! Can't believe I'm actually saying that. Alright, okay, so... No, do not run. Um... Gonna kill these guys. No... Please turn evil. I'm not even doing this for the actual items, I'm doing this to basically kill people and turn evil. Thank you, we got another one. We have another one. Alright, so, um... Hopefully. Yep, alright, excellent. It's really weird, you can only do this with um, encounters behind doors, it's... very odd. <laughs> Thrilling excitement as some guy basically enters and leaves a door over and over again to get the encounter that he wants. <laughs> I realize this is absurd. Um, 
But you have to understand something, that there is a reason I've been kind of putting off playing this game this week, and it's because of this. Like, this is not fun for anyone. It's not fun for you, it's not fun for me, it's... It's bad, but we need to do this to actually continue our game, so... And I'm not starting new characters to go on the evil side. No, I'm not doing it. Ah, man. I can't remember if... I know there was, like, um, at certain points in um, Might and Magic, you had to switch your alignment and your, even your sex at certain points. But they actually had, like, squares, like, places that you can go to actually do that for you. You didn't have to pull shit like this. And now thinking about it, I'm actually kind of glad that they did that. I didn't think it was a big deal at the time, but... Yeah, after playing through this, like... I can understand why they would actually do that. And I'm actually kind of grateful they did. <laughs> hmm, okay, uh, well, actually, uh, we'll wait until this account is over, then we'll start healing people. 16 minutes and counting of a guy going in and out of a door. <laughs> Not what I had in mind when I started this uh, uh, this uh, playthrough of the Wizardry series, I have to tell you that. I think after 3 I'm going to put uh, Wizardry on a break for a little bit because Wizardry 4 is, uh, is quite the game. <laughs> it's widely regarded to be one of the hardest um, computer RPGs ever made. Um, and there are reasons for that, which we'll get into once we actually start playing Wizardry 4, but... But it's weird, that game is no joke, and yes, we will be playing it on this channel, but I'm not gonna uh, commit to any kind of time or date for that, because uh, the other games I actually want to get onto first before that one. That one I probably will need to use a guide for, put it that way. I've been basically playing this game relatively guide free for the most part, but yeah, like on 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 uh, Wizardry 4 we will probably need to use the guide. Um, especially if you want like the best possible ending for it. Yeah, there are multiple endings in uh, Wizardry 4. And it's actually uh, one of the first RPGs we actually play as the bad guy. Let that sink in. In fact, you don't even directly fight yourself on that game. It, it kind of plays a little bit like another old RPG PlayStation that you guys might be familiar with on this channel called Monster Seed. Where you actually summon monsters to do your bidding for you. They do their own attacks and stuff, so... So yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. And not only do you not directly input um, what the monsters do and stuff, but uh, there's also a time route in the game. Like you're being pursued by some um, apparition which will basically murder the shit out of you if it touches you. But again, I'm talking about Wizardry 4, I'm not actually talking about what the hell is going on during this game right now. <laughs> um. Yeah, these things don't necessarily pin you down, so you can just keep running away for the most part.
actually almost considered cutting this part of the Let's Play out of the Let's Play, but I actually wanted you guys to see the fucking effort I went to just to actually finish this. Um, <laughs> I appreciate that might be a little bit selfish of me saying that, but... Oh my god, come on, just give me a friendly! Like, what the hell are you doing? Alright, okay, so... Um, let's look at this to Kyle. Wow. Yeah, we'll get dial to Lana. Okay, we're back we're back in to go in. I just want to make sure that my guys are fully healed. We're all continuing this really sad quest of trying to actually uh Glad some of them decide to attack. Yeah, if they all decide to run away, we lose our um, we lose our repeatable encounter. <laughs> so that's bad. Thankfully, I can let you do this one-handed, which means I get to drink at the same time. So that's good. Ah, oh, come on. I'm so sorry for all of this, but I'm going to move my mic, I think I'm breathing into it, I apologise about that. Don't want to be breathing into the mic. Alright, uh, come on game, give it to me. No! <laughs> God damn it. I guess most these creatures are neutral. And thus don't really care if we're good or evil or not, but... To be honest, the, the friendly encounter rate is about the same as it would be on any other floor. Realistically speaking. I do need these guys to actually turn evil though. Come on. This is such a, like... Yeah, I get that, oh, you can't have, um, good without evil story hooks this game, but... My god, this is fucking stupid. Like... Ah. I really wish there was an easy way of doing this. I researched it so I wouldn't be wasting your time, and no, there isn't. This is literally what we have to do. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, I'm pretty sure that most people actually fought most of the encounters. I'm actually, what I'm actually doing is probably cheesing it. Um, like, I'm not sure if many people actually know about this exploit, but this is basically what you have to do to actually um, turn evil. 24 minutes, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> I'm not even sure how long this is going to take. Like, I think once it gets to half an hour, I might actually break the video there and then continue on after that. It might literally, we might literally have our first video where we, uh, actually start within the actual dungeon itself. That is a giant snake. Not many 
three giant snakes, how are they not all eating each other? I wonder. So you can't imagine snakes being particularly, um... Uh... Pleasant towards each other, especially down here. Well, maybe the um, the magically created the the bay. Maybe the dragon. The dragon who's basically made me fucking do this. cleaning yesterday, I actually gave my uh, my Wii to my nephew, because uh, yeah, I've got a Wii U so, you know, I know a bit of a mistake there, but you know, it plays Wii games and it allows me to actually record the Wii games using my capture card, so Come on! Twenty-seven minutes. I'd like to point out we have gotten maybe, if I recall correctly, it's about two, maybe three friendly encounters in that time. I mean, this might be the we might be on our third here. That's how rare friendly encounters are in this game. And remember, I'm cheesing this. I've got like a repeatable way of actually getting people to attack me. Um, This is like the Murphy's ghost thing all over again. Yes! Alright. So, um, let's fight these guys. We, um, this will kill m most of the line. Ah! Uh. Okay guys, when we return, more grinding. I'll see you guys then.